All right, uh, we got Brother Dale S. Jr. What's going on? How you doing, Brother Ben Nix? Uh, yeah. Just, just kind of add to the topic. I think uh, what what we need in the community is somebody that's that's really speaking the truth and actually know what to do. And I think one of the things as a leader, what we have to do, we have to address uh, the state of music. Okay, so you know, faith come by hearing. So. In order to get our message out, if we can take back music, we can tell people what they need to do. We can show people what people need to do in the videos. You know, we, we're addressing everything else, but the stuff that people listen to every day, uh, this changes the molecule structure in their body, you know. So since faith come by hearing, and hearing by the word of God, you know, and we, we want to stand as a, a community. Uh, a, a black community, how can we do that without addressing uh, the things that are killing us uh, as a community? Because we we spend money, we change uh, fashion, we change everything with the music, you know, and uh, everybody else pocket, you know, they say the music industry made billions of dollars. What, what have we made uh, as a community? We made the community a wreck, you know, so that's, that's the main one of the main things that we need to address right now. And, and what would be the best way to address the music? The the, the best way to, to, I think, to address the music is uh, people like you, you do music. Everybody that's, that's more on a, a, a spiritual uh, level, forget all the conscious and, and all that, because conscious, that just, just means you think you know something, right? But on a spiritual level, hear from God, you know, and basically turn from our wicked ways. You know, we know the music, it corrupt, it corrupts us. So, so what we need to do as a family, you know, I grew up making music, you know, and stuff like that. But uh brothers like you will stand behind your project, you know, show let's show others how to really put a, a project with the videos. Just because you you spiritual, you believe in God, that don't mean that your video you have to be rapping or singing by a tree. You know, we got nice cars, too. So, you know, and if God was down here, yeah, he'd probably be in a, a Bentley uh, driving through the streets. So, uh, you know, if we if the uh, you see uh, that it's OK to be righteous, you know, in videos and music, then I, I think we can touch the people. You know what, what you think, man? Man, I, 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 man, listen, the minister says uh, one rap song is worth more than a, a thousand sermons. So I, I I definitely believe that the music is uh is important because that's what the youth is jamming. Uh, they're gonna be able to remember a a a, a song uh better than they'll remember a lecture. The lecture may have dropped all kind of gems and truth, but what's in that song is gonna get them. Um, I off, I also think that us as adults need to find ways to break down the music for them. So when you're hearing certain music from Two Chains or Little Baby or something of that nature, how can we utilize it uh, to teach them maybe a principle? So yeah, they're not selling drugs, but maybe we can teach in the song if they like it how to sell a product, their own righteous product. Because the scripture says it's not what goes in the man uh, in a man that defiles them; it's what comes out. So we all gonna hear filth. We all, I mean, no matter what, man, we whether if it's from your parents, from the radio, from the TV, from the movies. We can't control what's pushing through the TV, but we can control how I digest it. We can control how I see it and from the perspective and principles that I'm going to take. So you may have been successful in the streets, but I'm going to use them same principle and be successful in business. So uh, bringing them up to a high level of thinking, I think it's also important until we able to, if it's even possible, to eliminate the field that is coming through the, through the radios and, and the music and things of that nature. Well, we, we have to agree that definitely life is in the power of the tongue. So every time they jamming their rap song, it's, it's getting dangerous and dangerous. You know, uh, this this young generation so so disrespectful. You know, in one song they say they go sleep with your wife, your girlfriend, your baby mama. You know, all in one, one song. So uh, as as we address this with our seriousness, you know, we we need to understand that like the, the time is now. I'm excited about 
uh, what God is doing and, and even through uh, you uh, in your works. I mean, you know, just, just excited to, to encourage it. If it's any rapper that's listening, I hate what a rapper say, well, it's just entertainment. But you have to understand, like, you have to be accountable and responsible. You minister with those words. So uh, if any rapper on there, just, just uh, be uh, mindful that, you know, this next generation, you know, I was taught when I was in Atlanta, I it, it, I just met an old random dude. He was like, I was like, man, I don't want to be the Martin Luther King. I don't want to be the person who who say something. You know, I don't want to get stoned. I don't want to get killed, right? But but what he told me, say, all you have to do, man, it's like a forest fire. All you have to do is light the match. Once you light the match, nobody know who lit the match, you know? So that's what we need to do. We need to like the match brother ben let's put some heat out put some videos out let's do uh what it takes to make it happen yes sir man appreciate it brother